Hello everyone, very welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angelica. Today I'm very excited because today I'm gonna do a tag. This tag is created by Cheek Geek, so I will link her down below. She created an eyeshadow palette tag, and I love eyeshadow palette tags. So I'm gonna do this. This is the eyeshadow palette tag 5000, because there is a lot of eyeshadow palettes, like 5000 palettes. <laughs> or more. So I am so excited guys. I will link her down below of course and I will put all the questions down below as well. If this is the first time here by the way, my name is Angelica as I said. I love makeup, I love eyeshadow. I also do vlogs, fashion related videos. So just check out my channel if you like it. I would love to have you as a subscriber. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and yeah, let's answer these questions guys. Question number one, palette you wore on a special occasion. I would say I I am not like on my wedding day for example uh, my sister-in-law did my makeup so I have no idea what kind of makeup that was I would not I was not into makeup at that time but I could just think about these quads here, these glitter quads from Pixie. I have been raving about these for years now. And if I'm going to a special occasion, I wanna feel very glam, I wanna use glitter. So I will pick these actually. Uh, these are the glitter I always go for if I wanna be like extra sparkly on my eyes. And especially this one, you can see this one is more cool tone blue. I don't wear blue that often, but this is so beautiful. This is rose rose bronze they also have a more neutral quad and I am thinking of getting that one because I do love glitter from time to time and this glitter is absolutely stunning you don't need a glitter glue you just put your finger and press it in and then it will be there uh, until uh, the evening when you're going to just take it out and then I would recommend you maybe to take tape and just put it on your lid so you get the glitter on your tape because if you start to rub it you can easily get it maybe in your eyes and you don't want that but very beautiful quads from Pixie. Question number two, palette you love but it is repetitive and I was looking through my collection and one palette I really really love that is a little bit repetitive I also have another one but that is going to be a palette in another question <laughs> actually so I don't want to show it now but I think it's the Mimosa palette from BH Cosmetics I love this palette but as you can see there it could be smaller and it could be actually a little more darker shades I feel like there are some repetitive pinks here that I feel like you really don't need to be that many repetitive pinks <laughs> So I love pinks. As you can see, I am like, and now when the Barbie movie is coming out, I am like over the moon. I love everything pink. So when everyone is like pink crazy now, I have been that for years. So <laughs> this is my time. And this palette is absolutely beautiful. But I feel like maybe you could take some of the shades out and put in some others. So a little bit repetitive, but it's a beautiful palette. Number three palette you got your money worth and I would say actually a palette that I actually didn't think I would use that much <laughs> to be totally honest so it's the Going Coconuts from Colourpop and I have used this so much this is a neutral palette and it's a little more cool tone neutral palette but you can also I feel like you have some more warmer tones as well but this one I've used so much it's a cool tone light brown and this dark here, this shimmer in the middle is absolutely beautiful. There is a lot here that I use and I have been using. I grab for this so much. If I want to do a neutral look, if I want to have a neutral crease and then pop something, I take this one. I absolutely love this one. This is absolutely, this is not like a very expensive palette, but I definitely got my money worth uh, with this one. Number four, palette that is an amazing deal and I would actually say <laughs> this is a really good deal if you're looking for a cheap palette with a good quality. These are the five in a box, let's see here, the five in a box from Catrice. I have videos on these. I love this one that is like a pink, like a cool tone pink. They are small palettes with good quality and 
yeah, they are just really, really great. I don't know the price, but it's very, very cheap. So you get five shades. You, usually you get, is it two shimmers and three mattes? Yeah. And you have from light to dark. And this one is the latest one. I feel like this one also is very, very pretty. You have a cocky green, you have a pink. This is very similar to the Natasha Denona Mini, but I prefer these. Actually, I had them. I had actually this one in the Natasha Denona, but I declutter that one. And I have kept these because I feel like this is a really good deal. This is a really good quality palette. And yeah. Really, really good. Number five, quad that you love and wish was a larger palette. This was hard, guys, because I don't like quads. <laughs> I am one of those people that loves more nine pen palettes, uh, not super big palettes, but I want some variety. Four shades, usually I need to pick another palette uh, to that because I don't feel pleased with <laughs> just four shades, then it have to be a really good quad. And I don't have that, but I have a quad that I love. As you can see, I love pink, but I also love yellow. Yellow and pink is my favorite colors when it comes to eyeshadow. So I picked this one. This is from Colourpop. This is the Hello Kitty palette, the pineapple cake. And as you can see, it's a quad with just yellow. <laughs> and I love that. I love that they have two, one lighter and one like very, very yellowish uh, shimmer and two mattes. But I would love it if this one would be bigger, maybe put in a brown, maybe darker shades so you can do a little variety here. I mean, as I said, I love yellow. So, but for this, this will be a really, really yellow look. So I will love to just throw in some browns or whatever to just mix it up a little bit but very very cute quad i love the packaging as well number six uh you love the quality of the eyeshadow but hate the packaging i am i love packaging like weird packaging so i don't have like a big bulky thing uh, i love as i said a little bit of like you know these kind of things and you know the cake palette from glam light that a lot of people maybe hate that looks like a cake i love that kind of packaging so this was quite hard for me but i found a palette i actually love the eyeshadow but i actually don't like the packaging and it's from beauty bay it's a collaboration with naked tutorials and you open it like this and this is what i hate what is this like I love the eyeshadows here. I have used it so much. I think it's good quality. It's beautiful. But why did she do it like this? I can understand you have two sides, but it's when you want to use these, you have to like, okay, I have to open it like this and it like, I don't know. And you want to show it. It's like, I don't like it at all <laughs> when it is like two flaps like that. I think it's weird. And I think it's like, not weird, but uh, wrong of me. I mean, it's, it's just annoying. It's a little bit annoying. So I I don't like that kind of packet when you open it like that. And yeah, let's move on to the next question. Number seven, show your dream palette with singles. And uh, this was quite hard. When I started to pick out my singles and was thinking about the theme, I came up with two, like two kind of eyeshadow palettes. It's not going to be like every shade. I'm not going to swatch every shade. I'm just going to give you a hint, like a more like a mood board of what I love. And as I said, I love pink and I love yellow and I didn't want to combine these. So I have two. So we can start with the yellow. So I love yellow. <laughs> so I took like, these are amazing. These are from, let's see here. So I don't, uh, JD Glow. These are amazing shimmers, like so bright and beautiful. So I, if I would do a palette, it would be like a, the perfect yellow shimmer. And then I would have some neutrals because I love neutrals with yellow, the option. And then I want some orange, like orange matte, orange shimmer. And of course, yellow matte and something fun, like something maybe duochrome or something sparkly that you can do a fun look with as well. So kind of this, but I also love pink and I would do like a pink and cool tone palette. 
I don't know if this, I have, I don't think I've seen anything like that. I have it on today. Like, can you see like almost grayish neutrals, dusty pinks. You, I do want like a hot pink so you can mix it up or do a bright look, but and also some berry, like darker berries, but a little more cool tone and a cool tone brown, a silver, of course, if you want to do cool tone and also like a bubblegum pink. And this one is actually like a duochrome as well. I want something sparkly, something that shifts. This one shifts in like purpley blue. It could be really cool with these colors. So I would love to see like a cool tone pink, like a cool tone mix with pinks, like silver pink. Something like that, like uh, mauvey tones, grayish tones, browns. Yeah, that would be really, really cool actually. So yeah, this is what I created, <laughs> kind of. I mean, everything will be done uh, eventually, I feel like, <laughs> every color story. Number eight, palette you like to combine together. So I have an all shimmery palette that I love. It's from Kaya Cosmetics. Kaya Cosmetics is a Swedish brand. I'm from Sweden and this brand is amazing, guys. So if you haven't checked it out, check it out. Uh, they have a lot of makeup and especially I feel like the lip product and the face products is one of my favorite foundations is from Kaya Cosmetics. But this is a little six pan palette they came out with this summer, the summer collection, and it's just shimmers. And it's very, very stunning. It's beautiful. But as you can see, it's just shimmer. So of course I do sometimes just shimmer on the lid, but I do want to combine it. And then I just take another palette to combine this one with. And I don't know, I didn't take anything out here that I would combine it with, I feel like. But yeah, I definitely combine other palettes with this palette here. Number nine, large palette you wish was smaller. This was an easy one. This is also the palette that I that I could answer the other question with repetitive palette and it's the Carnival the Antidote palette from Stace, uh, from Be Perfect with Stacey Marie. As you can see this is a really really big palette guys. Oh my god. <laughs> this is a little bit repetitive as well so I, I want to include it in that question as well but I want to show it uh, on this question. Uh, because you can see, like, you don't have to have all of these shades. Uh, you could just pick a few, but I have used a lot of these shades, trust me. Uh, so they are not, like, the same, but some of them you actually could, you could make this smaller. <laughs> I don't want a big palette like this, but I love this so much. I love these tones. I love, like, when autumn is here, you can see it's autumn palette. You have the yellow, orange, red, browns. You have a little more pinky ones here, actually. And you have the greens. It's just beautiful. I love this palette so, so much. But I would love to have, like, maybe half of it <laughs> and try to have the shade, like, the color story still. But... I love this. This is so great, but yeah, as you could see, it's a really big palette. So, number 10, the last question, guys. Uh, eyeshadow palette you wish uh, had a matching face palette. And yeah, this was quite hard, I don't know. But I was going uh, through my collection and I, I am going with the theme now. And the theme and the palette I absolutely love, and I think I love this most in my collection is the Limoncello from Colourpop. I love the theming of this. I love this eyeshadow palette. This is Italy. This is like, I love Italy, <laughs> first of all. Um, we went there this summer um, and last summer and I just love everything about Italy and I love lemons. I love this print. I, I love this palette. I had it with me. <laughs> to Italy as well. I always travel with this palette. It's so cute and it's a beautiful color story. You can see you have the yellows, you have the browns. You can see that I love this one. Uh, you have a blue though. I don't use that that much, but I think I used it actually one night, just a little blue. But 
it is a beautiful palette and I would love, they had a whole collection with this one, but it didn't have like a face palette. If they had like a face palette, because I love face palettes, I do. If they had that with maybe warmer like orangey blushes and stuff and a warm like gold highlighter, I would definitely buy that one with this theming that they had because yeah, Definitely, definitely I would and I would love if they had that in this in this theme. Thank you for watching guys and thank you Chic Geek for making this tag or creating this tag I mean. I will link her down below, watch her video if you haven't and answer these questions yourself and tag her uh, and tag me if you want to do that. That would be fun to see your answers to these questions because it's always fun to see what other people is uh, picking in their collections and see all of these eyeshadow palettes. I hope you have an amazing day guys and I hope I see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.